the problem. <laughs> Nothing. They're overreacting. <laughs> Three's available. Oh, it's okay. I'll check it right here. You look strangely familiar. Kind of like that girl that got caught in a storm drain. I said was at risk for pneumonia. Sorry. Why did you leave the hospital? Uh, I'm afraid it's my fault. I had no idea Maxie's health was compromised. She didn't even know she was in the hospital. I insisted that she come in. Maxie, I It is not terrible. a big deal, okay? Just prescribe me some good meds. <coughs> being readmitted. So it is that serious. Serious enough to call in Dr. Quartermain. No, I'll go page her right away. Uh, Monica's a cardiologist. Yeah, exactly. Maxie is so full of life, sometimes we all forget she had a heart transplant. Unfortunately, sometimes Maxie does too. Just relax, okay? I'll take care of you. I know you don't understand. How's Maxie? Uh, physically, it's too soon to tell, but there seems to be some emotional stress uh, connected to her career, or maybe just losing it. Hey, you know, it was uh, another day to you. You didn't know that her lungs were compromised. Yeah, you know why? Because it's my world and everyone else just lives in it. That's just you, and Maxie and I are used to that. But maybe you shouldn't be. You're two young women with lives that extend beyond the confines of the magazine. You know what? You take the rest of the night off. You stay with Maxie and then go see Dante and please give him my love. And tell Maxie to get better so that I can give her the night off too. That's an order. Hey, uh, oh, how is she's you? okay. She's just right in there. Thanks. Oh my... They have you on machines? Uh, the jackal is so objective. Jack jackal. If you want to stay in this room, you dial it down right now. She needs to stay as calm as possible. Yes, ma'am. I mean it. I understand. <laughs> she wants to run some tests and do some x-rays. Well, I'm sure it's just an excess of precaution. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, an excess of precaution. My heart and I, we're going to be fine. Just fine. Bye. Hey. Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I'm professional. I'm at work. Come on. What's wrong? <sighs> it's Maxie. Well, is her condition worse? She checked herself out and she went to work. Wonderful. Just readmitted her for lingering cough and respiratory issues and waiting for test results. So you worry about her? Yeah. I mean, you know, we both know what it's like to look death in the face and then suddenly have a reprieve, a new heart, a new drug cocktail. And then, before you know it, you're walking around living life like everyone else and you start ignoring the big red flags that are telling you to slow down. Don't worry about it, okay? We'll take care of Max. Dr. Bach, call 691. Dr. George. Oh, I gotta go. Bye. Thanks for listening. Okay. Dr. Drake. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry for imposing. I realize you probably have more pressing matters to attend to than assisting me in untangling the twisted knots I often tie myself in when it comes to Max Vista. I'm uh, glad to help you any way that I can. Well, I've been misguided. No, let's call it what it is. I've been unforgivably stupid and reckless and thoughtless. And because of that, Maximista suffers. And that is unacceptable. Okay, I'm not sure where you're going with this. I made a decision. But I, I need your guidance as to how I should go about implementing it. And if it's not too painful, I, I th I'd like to call upon the experience that you had with the Wee One. With Jake? I mean, I don't see what he has to do with this. Why, well, you love your son. But you conceded the fact that you are bad for him. So you found the, the courage and fortitude to walk out of his life. I'm bad for Maximista. That, that's the bald, ugly truth. And so, despite my love for her, which runs deep and constant and pure as ever, I have to love her even more. 
strong enough to let her go. I don't understand. How could you let Max leave the hospital in the first place? Max, please. It's not Robin's fault. She wouldn't have been able to stop me. Besides, I'm not that sick. Oh, good to know. That must be why they put you in ICU. Well, could you help me out now, please? Sure, I'd be happy to. I'll let you in on some facts of our lives. It's easy to get, you know, swept up in the demands of us. We're busy. We're stressed out. We have a good time. It's really easy to get sidetracked and not paying attention to our bodies. You need to pay attention to that heart that's inside of you, just like I need to pay attention to my HIV. Where's Spinelli? Oh, for Pete's sake, Max. Well, he was really just... upset and he was blaming himself. He kept saying he was sorry over and over again and then he just left. Well, with any luck, it's going to stay that way. <sighs> Wait a minute. Where, where do you think you're going? Something is wrong. I just, I need to find him. That's not going to uh, happen. Oh, thank God. Dr. Cornermain, can you please tell my highly annoying but well-meaning family that I'm okay to go home? I'm afraid I can't do that. You have pneumonia and it is causing severe strain on your heart. <laughs> 